Hey, what up everyone? I'm Cinecool, and this is Gems of War. And today I want to show you a Ferris Ra team, because Ferris Ra is in the Soul Forge. So, figured I'd show you a team using that top 5 mythic in the game type troop from the Soul Forge. So, if we go to the Soul Forge right now, go to Troops, we have... Ferris Ra. So make sure you don't leave this week without it. Try to get your 4,000 diamonds. Um, there's ways to get diamonds, but um, usually it's doing your dungeons every single day. So hopefully you've been doing that every single day. And if you haven't, and you have at least, I would say, I don't know, ugh, probably 2,500 diamonds right now, you might be able to make it. But um, at least 2,000, I'd say, because I've had like 1,500 before and I did not make it. So if you have at least 2,000, you might be able to buy the dungeon every day and uh, get it. But um, what I'm talking about is right here, the dungeon. Uh, 150 gems for 50 diamonds. And then uh, I have to defeat the first one to get this, but it's like 80 gems for 20 diamonds or something like that. So potentially 70 diamonds right there. Uh, you could get every day this week. And then on Sunday, it's a lot more. It's like almost 200 or something like that. Um, so, if you add that up over the week, you can get like 600 diamonds, maybe 700. And then your guild tasks, you should be getting uh, from getting diamonds from that as well. Um, I don't know if I could see it, what I've gotten already, but uh, let's mail. Some of these have to have diamonds in it. Collected somewhere. The, some events have diamonds, like right here. Guild tasks, there's 50 diamonds. That's just an example, you know. I think there's more than just that. But uh, that's another spot you get diamonds. Um, so make sure your guild tasks and your dungeons are the are the two main ones. And there might even be some challenges that you can do. If you really, really want to go, get them. Like right here, check this out. Ten diamonds once you complete all tier uh, seven challenges. So every single kingdom has ten there's like 34 kingdoms, so that's another 340 if you really, really wanted it. Um, so, different ways to get diamonds there. As well as the Soul Forge, of course, switching over your shards into diamonds. I do this all the time. There's 80 diamonds right there. But anyway, there's just some ways to get diamonds before I show the team. But yeah, Ferris Ra is in the Soul Forge right now. So I'm going to show you a team using Ferris Ra. 24 blue, brown, purple, Kitar, divine, undead. Transform yellow gems to purple. Deal 34 damage to an enemy. Boosted by my souls. Give 20 souls. And the most important part is the Necromaster. Gain 150% bonus souls from battle. Nothing else can do that in the game. So the way you want to soul farm, and you can get up to... If you're super fast, you might be able to get 70,000 souls an hour with this team. I think when I did it last, I got 66 or 67,000 an hour. So I hope my math wasn't off during that video, but I definitely tracked it during that last video. I have another video on this if you want to check it out. It's called the New Best Soul Farming Team. Um, but since it's in the Soul Forge right now, let's show it. All right, where is it? New Soul Farm. So we have Phylactery. Uh, it's 14 blue, purple. Um... It restores your life to full, gain an extra turn, and gain 41 souls. Uh, you get that just from mastery. So blue, purple, mastery, it's not very much. It's like 19 or something like that. I might be off by one or two, but it's you can get it within the first 100 levels of the game. Like, everybody has this weapon. <clears throat> we have Sacrificial Priest. 11 purple, yellow, Karakoth, human, mystic, sacrifice an ally, deal 12 scatter damage, boosted by the sacrificed ally's attack. There's a 30% chance to summon Aberath. And it starts battles with 50% mana, and it has necromancy, another important thing. Necromancy, an important trait for soul farming. Gain 50% uh, bonus souls from battle. Um, and when you um, sacrifice the ally... You can either sacrifice your hero, who's going to be in first slot, or your sacrificial priest, who will be in second. Uh, the reason you would do the hero is because you don't have to move the courser down, and it makes it a little bit faster to not move it down every single time you do a battle. 
but your sacrificial priest will have more attack than your hero if you need that extra attack to full clear. So it's either one or the other. I do my hero because I don't need the extra attack, uh, and I don't feel like moving my cur cursor down every single battle, and I'd rather just click, 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 you know? And we have Ferris Ra, of course. We talked about that. And then Leprechaun, 12 purple, green, bright forest, fey. Explode, 18 green gems boosted by my gold. Gain 20 gold. Starts battles with full mana. Using Thief class, um, you just need to use a class with a purple storm. So Thief, uh, even Arch Magus works, I think. Necromancer. Mostly it's for the purple storm, so don't get too caught up on the class. But try to use a purple storm or some kind of class that's going to give you extra purple. That way you can uh, get it going. Hopefully I'm on the right battles here. May or may not be. Nope, not on the right battle. Alright, let's get out of here. Excuse me. Retreat. You want to be on difficulty 1. It doesn't matter what difficulty you're on. It goes so fast on 1. I mean, you could do 2. If you if you could full clear 2, why not? But um, 1 works fine for me. So, anyway. Leprechaun. Normally, that would get up right away. It did not there. But you got to cast your phylactery at least once. Then you get an extra turn. And bang. They're all dead. I got max souls there. As you can see, 120 out of 120. So almost 250 souls a battle. And if you can do four battles a minute, then that's 1,000 souls a minute. And I swear it goes faster than that even. If you get into a groove... So once again, we did not get... I must be not using the right banner or something. Because we did not get it up right away. Once again. But it's still not... Still not going too slow. Let's see what banner we're using. We are using a double purple. Double purple. So there's the banner. Might as well show it anyway. Double purple blue minus green. I don't know. Maybe Arch Magus would be better. You get a little bit extra purple. Um... I wonder if you could just match purple. Well, we got a Leprechaun here for a reason. I think it's just bad luck the first couple battles. But you'll get into a groove to where you're pushing the buttons before it's even time to push them. You know what I mean? Which I am definitely not in the groove right now. I haven't done this team in a long time. I'm not even going to worry about that extra turn up there. Even though it could cascade into something nice. But, um... So you might want to. But always cast the Phylactery and then always... You can cast the uh, sac the sacrificial priest on your priest because it's only going to take one to clear the other team, so it doesn't really matter who you cast it on. I just do my hero because it's the first thing that the courser lands on. So I'll just show you this time. Man, still not getting up. It'd be nice if the but there I did phylactery. Here I'm casting sacrificial priest. It asks you which ally to sacrifice. And it starts on your hero, as you can see. So, I just click, bang. But you could move it down to your priest, because he has more attack, and that's what the uh, damage is based off of. So, let's try to get into a groove here. We could maybe... Hmm, there we go, that's better, I guess. Not really. Holy crap. So there, I should have not cast that. I should have waited until I had uh, both of them up. So that was a mistake on my part. See right here, we need the priest. But it goes way faster than this once you get into a groove. Did I already cast this? I'll just cast it again, no big deal. Bang. All right, let's try to go real fast here at the end of the video. Let's try to get it real fast. All right, so we got Leprechaun, we're ready to go with that. There it is, okay. So how fast was that? How many seconds was that battle? That's what you can expect. That was a perfect battle. Let's try it again. I'm ready to cast Leprechaun already. Didn't get there, but ooh. Gotta get that priest up, though. Now we can do it. Gotta have them both up, or it doesn't work. But there, I mean, how fast was that? Like 15, 20 seconds? I don't know. So even when it goes wrong, it still goes right. Leprechaun, ready to cast it. Hoping everything gets up. It did not. So just find something there real quick. So even with it not getting up right away, we still get that battle done in like less than 20 seconds. 
So maybe I don't have the right metals on or something, but I guess you'd use uh, metals of seasons. But there we go. Perfect. Ready? Perfect battle right there. Bang. But yeah, that would I, that's what I would recommend for uh, Ferris Ra. Make sure you get it this week before it's gone. It's one of the best mythics in the game. It'll help you soul farm to get that Dawnbringer, that Dustbringer, all your troops up, all your metals, uh, and stuff like that. So yeah, like, share, subscribe. Consider joining. It helps a lot. Um, tell your guild about the channel. And comment below. And I'll see you all next time. Peace.